Hello and welcome to the Invent with Scratch screencast. I'm Al Swigert and in this screencast we're going to create a small little demo where we can spin around these pinwheels. We can just click on them just to speed them up and they eventually slow down. We can just go crazy with one of these. Well, it's still going, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. So let's see how we put this together. Click on Create to launch the Scratch Editor. And the first thing we're going to do is we don't need this cat, so we're going to delete it. Right click on it in the Sprite section and then select Delete. So we're going to paint a new sprite by clicking on the paintbrush icon and we'll start drawing our own pinwheel. So select the Line tool and to start off with just draw two lines crossing each other and try to make them about as even and straight as possible. In fact, you can hold down the shift key and Scratch will instantly make the line perfectly straight. Next, find the midpoint of each of these quadrants. So let's see, the midpoint on this arm is right about here and then the midpoint on this arm is right about here. So they would intersect right about here. And from that midpoint, draw a line to the edge of the arm and then draw another line to the center. And do that for all four of these. And then draw a line from the midpoint of the quadrant to the midpoint on the arm. Be sure to fill it in so that you don't have any gaps. And there. And there. And now at this point we can just color these in with any color we want. Go ahead and use the paint bucket fill tool and just Select any colors you want. That looks good. Now let's add the code for this. First, from the brown events category, grab a when green flag clicked block. Then we're going to create one variable that stores the spin speed of the pinwheel. So click on data and click on make a variable. We'll call this variable spin speed. Now this is very important. Select for this sprite only and I'll go into why later. For, for right now just make sure that this radio button is checked and then click OK. Next the first thing our program will do is set the spin speed to zero and then we'll create a forever loop and inside this forever loop we'll have the pinwheel spin around by, by whatever value is in spin speed. So go to the orange data section and grab this spin speed variable. And so now if you test this program out by clicking the green flag, nothing actually happens because spin speed is zero, so turning to the right zero degrees doesn't actually do anything. So let's click the red stop button to stop the program. We're going to need to add some code that causes the pinwheel to spin around by increasing the spin speed variable. So go back to the brown events category and grab the when this sprite clicked block. And whenever the sprite is clicked, we want it to speed up. So we'll grab this set spin speed and we'll multiply the spin speed value. So grab that multiplication symbol and put it inside that socket. And then go back to the data section and grab that spin speed variable. And so the new value of spin speed will be the current value of spin speed times 1.5. Of course, this still won't do anything when we click on it because spin speed is 0, and 0 times 1.5 is still 0. So we're going to have to add in some special code to handle the case where it's 0. Go to the orange control section and grab an if block and put that right underneath when the sprite is clicked block. And we'll have this so that if the spin speed is ever less than 5, we'll just set the spin speed to 5. So in the green operator section, grab the less than sign. In the orange data section, grab spin speed. And if spin speed is less than 5, we'll want to set spin speed 
to 5. Alright, let's try this out. Click on the green flag and test the program by clicking on it. That's pretty good. We can just keep clicking on it over and over and over again. Wow, it's getting pretty fast, and this pinwheel isn't slowing down at all, so let's add some code that will slow it down eventually. Now inside this forever loop, under the when the green flag is clicked block, we'll add some code that's constantly slowing the pinwheel down. So grab that set spin speed, and we're going to do the same thing that we did right here in this block. In fact, I'm just going to duplicate that multiplication, but we want to make this less than 1.0 so that it actually starts decreasing the value. So I'm going to set it to maybe 0.98. So each time it loops through this forever block, the spin speed decreases down to 98% of its original speed, which might seem like a lot of its original speed, but since this loops so fast, it'll eventually slow everything down. So let's click the green flag and test this out. Nice. Let's add something else, just so that if it ever slows down to less than, say, 0.5 for a spin speed, we'll just go ahead and set it to zero. That way it doesn't take forever to come to a complete stop like it is right now. In fact, I can just right-click on this if block and duplicate that. We won't need this spin speed block, but we can put this part in here. And instead of less than 5, I'll say less than 0 0.5, and if spin speed is less than 1 half, go ahead and set it to 0. And you can see once this value gets less than 0 0.5, it just immediately jumps down to 0. That's pretty good. This pinwheel's kind of small, let's increase the size by clicking on the Grow tool and then clicking on it several times. And let's draw out a new sprite for its stem as well while we're at it. So paint a new sprite. I'll just draw some stemmy looking thing like this. And maybe fill it in with a nice green color. So I can put that there, put that there. Now it looks like it's actually spinning around on a stem. In fact, now we can just go ahead and duplicate this sprite, so we can have tons of different pinwheels. Let's make two more of these, and let's change the sizes on the other ones. Maybe make that a little bit smaller, make this one a lot smaller. We'll have to duplicate stems for them as well. Let's test this out by clicking on the green flag. When I click on that one, it spins around. When I click on that one... Yeah, this works out pretty nicely. Now one thing to, now one thing to make note of is each of these pinwheel sprites has a separate spin speed variable. In fact, I can go ahead and make all three of them visible at the same time. Notice they all start off at zero, but each of these pinwheel sprites isn't using the same spin speed variable, they each have their own. That variable is for this sprite only. So when I said spin speed is for this sprite only, and then this pinwheel has a spin speed variable that's for this sprite only, they're separate variables, which lets us create duplicates of these and not have them interfere with, with each other. Otherwise, they would always be moving around at the same speed. Then let's go ahead and make some changes to the costume so that they're not all so identical. We can make this one have a red-blue theme, maybe. And this one we can even just get rid of that pinwheel altogether and just add a whole new different costume. Let's make it a, uh, oh, this giant crab, how about that? Yeah, and put the crab center right there. All right, that's great. Now we can spin this spin wheel around and we can spin this around and we can spin this crab around too. That's pretty good. 
Let's have him say, ah. <laughs> oh, poor little crabby. Anyway, that's the entire program. I hope you found this helpful, and thanks for watching.